Welcome to our registration information session. In this video, we will be sharing important information about the course registration process at Wright State University. We will be covering terminologies and definitions of important words, how to build a schedule, and how to register for classes. You can find all kinds of information about how to register for classes and other registration details by going to the Enrollment Services website at wright.edu slash registration. It is a great tool for you to use during your time at Wright State. Let's cover some of the important words you need to know. First off is prerequisite, aka prereq. A prereq is a course that is required to take prior to enrolling in a class. For example, you must take Chemistry 1 before taking Chemistry 2. Next is co-requisite, or co-rec for short. It is a course that is required to take simultaneously with the class you want to enroll in. For example, you must take Chemistry 2 Lab with the Chemistry 2 Lecture. Next is CRN, course reference number, the number that is unique to the course itself. We will use the CRN to help register for classes soon. And lastly, attributes. Attributes are specific characteristics about the class. Let's get started by completing your required acknowledgement, which is needed in order to register for classes. The required acknowledgement is comprised of two questions. The first question asks about health insurance. If you have your own personal health insurance, you can decline the health insurance offered by Wright State. The second question is confirming that you accept financial responsibility for the classes that you enroll in. Go to wright.edu slash complete RA and log in with your W number and password. From there, you will select the heading of the action item you need to complete for the term you want to register. Read through the Wright State Student Health Insurance Plan requirement and the acknowledgement of financial responsibility. Select the box next to I agree to the terms and conditions and click save at the bottom. The status box will display as completed and the action item box confirming that you completed the required acknowledgement for that term. The required acknowledgement action items will also appear in your student profile when it is time to register for the next term. Now you are ready to look up and register for classes. If you have earned any credits toward your degree, either from Wright State or transferred from another university, you can run a degree audit. A degree audit is a report that lists credits you've already earned, as well as credits you still need to take towards your degree. You can access the degree audit tool by logging into Wings and clicking on the Student Academics tile on your Launchpad. Then, select Degree Audit on your Student Profile page and follow the directions in the audit screen. Your academic advisor can take you through your degree audit and help you make informed decisions about classes to take in the future. Now, we will go through the steps of looking up classes and building your schedule. Today, we will use the Find Classes option in the Course Registration screen. This option allows you to look at each individual class and note when they are offered, building your schedule on your own. Let's learn how to look up classes. You're going to log into wings.wright.edu using your W number and password. Click on Student Academics from your Launchpad, select Course Registration, then click on Register for Classes. Select the term from the drop-down menu, click Continue, and you can begin entering your search criteria. When searching for a class, there are three things you should include. The subject, the course number, and the campus. You want to make sure the courses that show in your search results are offered at the campus where you want to attend, Dayton or Lake. So make sure to include that in the initial criteria. We will choose Chem 1210 at the Dayton campus as an example. Because many science and math courses also have a lab component, you want to add a percent sign at the end of the course number so that all of those co-requisite courses show in the search results. Once you have set the criteria, click Search. The search results include the course title, subject, course number, and section number. The next column shows the number of credit hours for the course and the CRN number. Then there is the term, instructor, meeting times, and location. The results also show the class size as how many people can register for the class, as well as the course attribute, which often provides information about the course delivery. There are two ways you can add courses to your course summary. The first method is directly from the search results. Just click the Add button in the far right column of the course information when you find the course you want to add. You can see the full details of the meeting time and location by hovering over that column in the search results. You can see more details like co-requisites and prerequisites in the course details by clicking on the course title in the first column. Be sure to add all co-requisites 
to your course summary and check that you don't have any time conflicts before you click the submit button to add your courses to your schedule. You can look up co-requisites or more classes using the search without having to leave the registration screen. Just click new search and start again. You can add more courses to your course summary and submit them for registration once your list is complete. You can also register for classes using the CRN code by clicking the Enter CRN option at the top of the page. This is an easier way to register if you have a list of the courses and their CRNs you need to register for. Once you have the courses you want to add to your schedule listed in your course summary, you can click the Submit button to add them to your schedule. Don't forget to use your bottom left schedule pane to check for time conflicts and check your course details by clicking on the course title to verify you have added all required co-requisite courses. Both methods of adding courses to your summary pane require you to click the submit button to actually add the courses to your schedule. You should also review your schedule for the term to make sure everything was submitted as you planned. You can view your schedule by clicking on schedule and options at the top of the screen. If you find a course you want to add to your schedule, but it is full or closed, most of the time there's the option to put yourself on an electronic waitlist for a class. More information about waitlists for closed classes can be found by clicking the waitlisting link at right.edu slash registration. And lastly, you should always talk to your academic advisor if you are ever unsure about your schedule or classes, or if you're thinking of changing your major. To schedule an advising appointment, go to right.edu slash advising. They are happy to assist you and answer any questions you may have. Welcome to Wright State University. We're proud you're a Raider.